Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be breaking down everything we have spent on our 589 days journey riding one time around the entire world. Did you ever wonder how much it costs in petrol to ride 46,705 miles through 39 countries across five continents? <laughs> Or how much you need to budget for accommodation, or food, or dreaded container shipping. Well, we made a very big spreadsheet where we listed down exactly that. How much we spent on our entire trip, and what we spent it on. So without further ado, let's get into it. Our total expenditure for the entire trip was... 41,156 pounds and 16 pence. Or an average of 69 pounds and 87 pence. Yeah, but that wasn't our actual average daily expenditure because a huge portion of our costs went into transporting us and the bike around different parts of the world. So let's get into the cost of that. Our total transport costs for the trip were 14,869 pounds. And that included the ferry from England to France, the ferry from Spain to Morocco, container shipping the bike from Senegal to Brazil, the flights from Senegal to Brazil, the ferry from Uruguay to Argentina, the ferry to and from Tierra del Fuego, the air freight over the Darien Gap, flights over the Darien Gap, air freight from Canada to South Korea, flights from Canada to South Korea, the ferry from South Korea to Russia, shipping the bike from Kazakhstan to Azerbaijan, flights from Kazakhstan to Azerbaijan, the ferry from Albania to Italy, and finally, our ferry from France to England. That was a lot of countries to pronounce. <laughs> So as you can see, a huge portion of our costs went into moving us and the bike from continent to continent. So keep that in mind if you're planning your own trip because those transport costs are expensive. So other than transport... <laughs> <laughs> There's a rooster behind this shed that we're currently in and he keeps going. So other than transport, we spent on insurance policies, that includes our health insurances and all motorcycle insurance policies, £1,238. On repairs and services for Bumblebee, we spent £3,344. On border fees, visas and permits, we spent £913. On equipment, now that's uh, camera equipment, camping equipment and just any other bits and bobs we needed along the way, we spent £2,313. On sightseeing, we spent £1,518, which is actually more than I expected. Yeah. On souvenirs, we spent a grand total of £8.57. And that was on one Fez hat in Fez, Morocco, which Lavi still complains about that I bought. And the little balloon that we got the day that we left Cappadocia in Turkey. That is literally everything we've spent on souvenirs on the whole trip. So these were our special expenses and now we talk about the daily expenses. So our daily expenses were a grand total of £16,436, which is an average of £27.90 per day. That's not that bad, is it? Pretty good, hey? That is not that bad. <laughs> our daily budget was supposed to be £35 a day, mm -hmm. so we actually came in under budget. A lot of bread and cheese. <laughs> on groceries, we spent £2,483, which is an average of £4.21 per day. On eating out, we spent £2,964, which is an average of £5.03 a day. On fuel, £3,467, which is an average of £5.88 per day. Which is also a lot less than I was expecting. £3,467 to ride around the entire world. It's not that bad, hey? It's not that bad, but that mm. is only because of Kazakhstan, because it's so cheap. 35 pence a litre. <laughs> On accommodation, we spent £7,520, which is an average of £12.76 per day. And that was even with us 
trying to free camp a lot of the time we stayed with friends and people who invited us to stay and it still cost us £12.76 per day. The price of accommodation can really rack up. Yeah. And lastly on extras which are just random expenses or sim cards or data top ups stuff like that we spent £514.74. So there we go. That is a breakdown of everything we spent on the entire trip. So we actually worked out that it cost us just under one pound per mile to ride around the world. So there we go. So I hope that that information is at least a little bit useful in planning your own trip. You can see that it is possible to keep the daily expenditure down to even under 30 pounds a day, but that you have to be really careful about the massive costs of shipping and other things like that. So at this point, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to our channel and watched our videos because YouTube has funded a large portion of our trip through our YouTube members, our ad revenue on our videos, our Patreons, people who bought t-shirts on our Etsy stores, these Overlander tees, people who donated to us, all your support has been absolutely amazing and we really couldn't have reached the finish line without your help. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. Okay.